Good morning everyone. Uh, this is a little journal that is one of the unfinished projects that I've had on the go for quite a while now. Um, I managed to finish it yesterday and it's okay I'm covered in glue. I'm trying to get it off. Uh, right it's a Kate Greenaway Almanac. Uh, I wanted to make a little book that uh, was uh, fairly um, blank inside uh, but to pretty up the outside really so I've got this image of Kate Greenaway's Almanac on the front and I've edged this in uh, crochet I've embroidered a little spine in. It's a sort of salmon pink and green. And on the back, we've just got Almanac 1884. Um, the cover itself and the spine. Uh, I used some. It's a silk and cotton fabric, it's vintage, it's very old uh, and it's quite patchy here and there but it, it suits its purpose. So um, that's the little book. And on the inside cover and throughout I've used this uh, faded uh, pink, it really looks uh, um, brownish colour because it's that faded so but that's what I use for the papers throughout um, here we've got from the almanac uh, the new years come again ah oh, well a day how soon they come how soon they pass away so that's a little verse for the beginning of the year and now we've got a figure illustration from Kate Greenaway's uh, books. Uh, and on the first page then we've got January and I've put each each little um, card for the day of the month in a die cut pocket. How long the pockets will last I don't know, very very fragile but uh, I'm just going to use it for for jottings throughout the year. Uh, throughout the book I've done some embroideries, little tiny ones to go inside this cutout here. Uh, choosing the colours that uh, are on the spine. I wasn't going to edge the papers at all, I was going to leave it plain. I wish I had in a way, but uh, I dyed some lace to, to match the greens in the book and it's not too bad. February, some really interesting uh, points. Galileo, born 1564. There's a fair on the River Thames in 1814. And Sir Robert Peel, the founder of the police force in uh, this country, he was born in 1788. But there are lots of little, little bits of interest there uh, on each monthly card and little rows there. March. Princess Louise was born in 1848. William the Third died 1702. Again, another little embroidered piece there. I just did these on some scraps and cut around them. So lots of space for, for journaling. April. Again, lots of interest on here. Shakespeare was born in 1562. Lord Byron died in 1824. 
as I say, lots of interest there. On some of the pages, I've just done oval cutouts of various um, images from Kate Greenaway's works. That's May. Napoleon died in 1821. Haydn. Composer died in 1809 and Queen Victoria was born in 1819. Another image there. June. Just read a couple from each, I think. Reform Bill was passed in 1832. Dr. MacLeod died in 1872. And I'm ignorant of uh, Dr. McLeod, I'm afraid. And a little awful image there. July. Dr. Isaac Watts was born, 1674. Robert Peel died in 1850. Robert Burns died in 1796, July. Another little embroider embroidered flower August Prince Alfred was born in 1844 Queen Caroline died in 1802 there was a fire at Sarajevo in 1879 Oh, interesting to look back, though we should be looking forward, I dare say. But I do like history. September. Louis the Eighteenth died, eighteen twenty-four. The pasta bomb was taken in eighteen fifty-five. Oliver Cromwell died in 1658. October, Scorpio. No, I haven't heard of half of that, so I'll <laughs> leave that. Another image there. November, with the gunpowder plot is listed, 1605. Martin Luther was born in 1483. William Cooper, born 1731. Spelt Cowper, but it's pronounced Cooper. Beethoven was born in 1770. Prince Albert was buried in 1861. And I think that's the last of the months of the year for this date. Here we've got some birthdays of the royal family, some public museums and galleries when they're open, etc. Uh, eclipses for 1884. More embroidery there. Some more embroidery there. Post office regulations here. And the cost to post a letter. Uh, threepence in 1884. And here we've just got some little cards, memoranda cards to write on. And that's basically it, ladies.
and then we come to the final page for the year which is the days are gone the months have flown and you and i are older grown shake hands goodbye and have no fear to welcome well another year that's my little almanac kate greenaway's almanac just put some little beads glass beads on the uh, insides i've got another one that, that i started but that's in uh, lilacs if i ever manage to finish that and uh, probably put put it up for sale if uh, if i do manage to finish it so one down a thousand projects to go <laughs> thanks for looking in everybody bye for now bye